was recently widowed. What is it that he wants to do that this little guy here is kind of getting in the way of? Well, let me try to put that, you know, we have a kid present. Um, <laughs> Irving wants to go out and sow his oats because he's been a marriage for 50 years. It hasn't been working out so good. So uh, this little rally stopper gets dumped in his lap and, uh, yeah, we don't get along too good in the beginning. He hates me in the movie, but at the end, he loves me. That's good. That's good. Now, no, you guys, uh, obviously, you know, so much of the, 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 the comedy comes from, you know, sp spring these things on people. Were there any particular reactions that you guys got the, you know, that were stuck with you the most? That was like, oh, God, that, that, that particular person was, you know, that's priceless. Well, I mean, the, in the uh, restaurant, when Irving has an accident on the wall, the guy who ends the scene, that double take is amazing. Uh, <laughs> Almost every reaction in the beauty pageant's amazing. Uh, what the penguin guy is a surprising reaction, right. and the shipping Billy. I didn't <laughs> think that was going to work at all. No one's going to fall for that. And we found the two perfect marks. <laughs> a human being. <laughs> how, how do you feel about being in a big movie like this and everything? It's going to be kind of. You must be like coolest kid at school now, right? It is the first one, but I'm hoping it's not going to be the last one. There we go. It's spoken like a true actor. That's awesome. Um, but I do want to make it up to Bad Grandpa 8. Bad Grandpa 8. Yeah, so what's going to happen million. Like, if you guys do another one? You're going to go to Europe? I don't know if the Europeans would be... I don't know how they'd react to like the hidden camera stuff. Like yeah, that. I don't know. I think we would probably could pull it off in America, but we'd have to really pick our spots. Yeah. You know, we have to shoot longer because you're going to get recognized a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then my my last question is uh, sort of, uh, uh, you know, is it you know Spike Jones is back for this one? Is it kind of is it kind of tough for you to to reconcile the Spike Jones you know that works on this one with the guy who's making like adaptation and where the wild things are? I mean, it seems like two completely kind of. Well, I mean, he's brilliant, but he's also mischievous as hell. So, yeah, I, I get it, yeah. but I can see how from an outside perspective that people see the other films he makes and then reconcile that. But, I mean, he came from BMX and skateboarding, so uh, right. he, he has a, a very mischievous side to him. And, and he plays uh, the <clears throat> wife in the movie, right? Well, he, you know, we had Catherine Keener play my wife. Oh, nice. And Spike Jones was going to play uh, uh, an old girlfriend, like a foil to our relationship later in the movie. But by the time that his scenes came around, we just wanted to be with Irving and Billy. Right. And it just didn't work for the story. Same with Catherine's scene. We got funny stuff with her. I mean, she's brilliant, but it just didn't work for the story. Awesome. Okay. So we have a bad Grandpa point five coming. Point, oh, really? All the stuff we couldn't show you. Oh, nice. Now, uh, when do you, when's that going to come out, do you think? Oh, God, I got it written down somewhere. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Early like, next year, maybe? You better put when you get tackled by a real old man in that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone tackled me in this. Uh, A real old man. Nice. <laughs> <laughs>